Hi everybody. I just wanted to do a short video uh, on myalgic encephalomyelitis, ME-CFS. Now May is ME-CFS month. So this is a very good month to try to share awareness of ME. Now what is ME? I'm just going to share just a very short version because in another video I've dis I have discussed this. ME is a serious neuroimmune illness for which there is currently no treatment and no cure. And it devastates the lives of those who have it. It goes through all age groups from children onward. There are 17 million people around the world that have this illness. Now, what is amazing is that there's absolutely no really effective treatment for this illness. The cardinal symptoms of this illness are number one, PEM, or post-exertional malaise. And this is a constellation of symptoms that range from um, I don't, severe fatigue, profound fatigue after the slightest exertion, a feeling of that you are so totally unwell, um, and all your other symptoms of ME are increased and you just simply have to go and lie down. Number two is severe fatigue or profound fatigue after the slightest exertion. Number three is unrefreshing sleep. You go to bed at night, you wake up in the morning, you're just totally unrefreshed. You feel like you did the night before. Now you have to have these symptoms for six months to be diagnosed with ME. And most people with ME are very aware of these symptoms, but I'm trying to share the awareness to others who don't have ME. Why is awareness so important? Well, awareness is so important because, number one, people want to be understood. Number two, for funding. I mean, there is very little funding, either private or public, for this illness. And I'm going to speak about that a little bit later. Um, now I'll go on to um, uh, I said there was no treatment, no cure, and this is true. Now there are a few people who do recover, but it is very rare. And they've usually had the illness for a much shorter period of time, uh, perhaps five years or less. There are some people who have improved. Um, yes, there can be some improvement with strict pacing and other modalities, but it's still not a normal life. <laughs> you know, without getting personal, in the beginning of my illness, I was at 10%, which means you were bed bound. I now run around 25 to 30% which means I can only leave my house once or twice a week for a very short frame of time and have to spend a lot of my life lying on a bed like so many others with this. So of course we would all like treatment. I mean, we would like a cure, but a treatment would be good. Now, I do have hope for the future. Uh, the work of Dr. Flug and Dr. Mella in Norway is encouraging. And the recent findings of Dr. Um, Ron Davis at Stanford and his team, they have discovered that this may be subsets of ME, but regardless, it's, it's still an important finding that we are hypometabolic. And what does that mean? That means that we have trouble getting the nutrients into the mitochondria. Somehow that's blocked. Now if they could find something to unblock that so that we could get the nutrients in to the mitochondria, this would be a, a very good step. Now why are the mitochondria important? They are important because they are the powerhouse of the cell. And without your mitochondria, you just simply don't produce energy. So I think this is a very important uh, it, very important uh, finding. I do want to leave on that note, um, and I want, to disc I, I want to leave on that note of hope, because I think hope is essential to this illness. 
we have to have hope that we are going to get better or somewhat better. I think we all need that. I think the last thing I want to discuss is funding. Now there's very little public funding and very little private funding. I'm going to put some links down below for private funding. I mean, if you feel you can contribute, that would be wonderful. If not, I mean, that's totally understandable. Many people with ME are on disabilities because they simply can't work. And I understand that. Thank you very much for listening.